Welcome to Florida Mint on Florida Man with Greg, Wayne, Josh, and Cameron, the podcast where Floridians discuss the crazy but true, true. stories that always seem to take place in Florida. Florida. I tell you what, we had a tell laundry us. list of events happening this past beautiful week. Beautiful week. Beautiful. A lot of stuff going down, and uh, we appreciate you guys staying with us. A lot of communicado us. with yeah. the Alicia Norris. We've been uh, chatting all week. <laughs> Chatting all week with you guys. You're so faithful sending in uh, stories and movie reviews. and Yeah, I got uh, asked to do Dragonheart. Do y'all remember Dragonheart? What a good film. Dragonheart. Yes. When, I thought, uh, it was okay. Sean Connery. Uh, I forgot we're talking to an infant here. Yeah. <laughs> this was like <laughs> when CGI came out. Uh, uh, Quaid, right? Yep. Dennis Den- Quaid. Dennis Quaid yeah. decided he wanted to uh, be a partner with a dragon in a movie. Mm-hmm. And, I uh, I have fond memories of that movie though, because it's genuine heart. It's a dragon. I mean, dragon heart. It's a long name. I watched uh, Reign of Fire recently. You oh, that one? yes, with Matthew uh, McConaughey. Man, uh, he's and ripped. Christian Bale. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The dragons melt concrete, right? In that movie, I think they melt everything. Oh. Yeah. I watched uh, melt my heart Friday night sissy fights. Um, Who's in that? Uh, Wayne. <laughs> Just me. Okay, the <laughs> mirror. A, it's a home video. <laughs> Look what's on again. <laughs> Friday night sissy fights. I tell you what I didn't watch though is I didn't watch any news all week because I wanted to know about some headlines. That is the hard part about this podcast. I have to stay away from Florida history and Florida headlines. Uninformed. <laughs> Kick it off, <laughs> buddy bear. All right. So Florida man, okay, uh, thinks that he's buying a villa. Okay. Okay. In uh-huh. time Florida scan. villa. Yeah. Yep. Nice condo type. Uh, I think it was like a duplex. Sure. Cute. Ends up spending. Uh, $9,100 okay. on this villa. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a one-foot strip of grass. Okay. <laughs> Buyer beware, right? Yes. Did he get an inspection done? <laughs> uh, I don't think he did. No. Okay. Or but, he paid first and then got an inspe- inspection. I've heard some like, uh, like you buy on eBay, but you just get the box. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like with a brick in it instead of a phone. <laughs> yeah. 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 So this yeah. guy got a, a one-foot piece of land. This guy... Got a one foot piece of land. Yeah, but can you see the beach from it? No, I don't think you can see anything. From okay, it. <laughs> you can see the villa that he thought Ooh, he was buying. Wow. So basically, it's a duplex. Uh-huh. Okay, and there's two driveways. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, in between the duplex, no you know how way. like they have to be separated. You kind of have uh-huh. a concrete wall. It's the same place, but right. you have some kind of division. Yep. That concrete wall, which is like a foot okay. long, that whole strip of grass all the way to under, the road. Uh, yep, from the road. Under the condo, all the way back. 9, it's, a, it's 100 what? feet long. Um, this is amazing. I yeah. didn't know those, that was for sale. Well, so he bought it and well, one I'm foot by you, 100 feet. Yeah, so he bought it, uh-huh. $9,100. Uh, the land that he bought, yes. one foot by 100 feet. Wow. Uh, is valued at $50. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure he can do something, though, to make yeah. his neighbors miserable. I was going to say, that's the question. What would you do? Because he's stuck in this. He tried to get the county uh-huh. to kind of help him get out of this deal. <laughs> um, but they said, we can't really do anything. We should offer to buy it for 50 50 bucks. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, his name dumb, dumb. is uh, Curval Holness. That's not a real name. Uh, no. Yeah. That's a made up He's, name. He's uh, 172 years old. Yeah. Well, listen, Curval, if for some strange reason you're listening to this, we'll buy it from you. Uh, reach out to us at FMOFM Podcast, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll see okay. what we can do. There's I get a picture of it. Cameron's way. showing us the picture of land, yeah, and it's a hop and a skip Yep, for $9,000. Obviously, $9, he needs to plant like a, a bamboo. Yeah, thorny bush. He's got to mm-hmm. go out and like mow that just for... <laughs> Did someone send that in? Yes. Uh, let's Where was see. this for sale at? Like, who was bold it enough? It was online. Okay. Yeah, it was like an online auction. Uh, Sarah from Toledo, Ohio. Hey, oh, Sarah. That's right up her alley, though. Yep. She's it always really looking is. at real estate news and stuff. And I think it just goes to show you never buy anything online. I've always said that. It just you, happened to well, me. If you can't put your fingers in it or on it, don't buy it. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. I don't that's think he cool. lives by that, but he might say that. No, because it's really hard when you're buying like a melon. Yeah. Right. So, could you guys squeeze in there somewhere? Somehow. You can buy cars online. 
I, yeah, yeah, we did. I did. I yep. know you did. I didn't do the vending machine <laughs> thing, but they had it dropped off at the house. I'm not giving them a shout out. No. They no, we're not going to say which company. They refused to pay the $5,000 ad fee that Ooh. we have. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Florida man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Arrested for covering sleeping girlfriend in a uh, 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 sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, Wayne. Kisses. Oh. Ketchup. Okay. Okay. He was arrested for oh, it? He was type arrested for fetish. this. No. Ketchup fetish. It is not. You would think that. No. Peter Wagman, oh, 37 wow. years old from Pinellas Park, yeah. uh, was charged with domestic battery for pouring a large quantity of tomato sauce oh. or ketchup on his 41-year-old girlfriend after the couple had arguments over infidelity by the victim. So he thought that his woman was uh-huh. cheating on him. Okay. Uh, so while she was sleeping... He took a large bottle of ketchup and poured it on her. Well, because I think it's like um, in forensics, they put that uh, dust, that fingerprint dust. Right. And if you put ketchup, you can see if another man's been in your territory. That's <laughs> a, that's that's a real thing, actually. Yeah. It's scientific. I guess so it I, is. I need clarification, though. Is it tomato sauce or ketchup? Well, it says tomato sauce, and it also says ketchup. So. Uh, okay. So one of oh, the same. Cats up. They he's, don't want to p- pick a team. He's yeah. taking pizza sauce. Uh, or he's trying to start a fire. You know? Good old marinara. Yeah. 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 Um, so he, I don't know. I don't. I, I was surprised that he got arrested for domestic battery because yeah. that was the only thing he did, except for yell, uh, "That's what you get." <laughs> blank. <laughs> that, that, I mean, what else do you say when you're dumping ketchup on somebody? He denied it, but once he, when he was being uh-huh. booked into jail, his whole right side of his body was covered in ketchup. So okay, this but is see, amazing. But here's my thing. Um, that's a really easy like situation to frame, right? I mean, like I could dump ketchup on myself right now, yeah. yeah. Sling some on you and be like, "Oh, Cameron just stood over me, yelling, that's what you get.' Yes, dumping okay. ketchup on me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we don't want cheated on me. Yeah, we don't want to replay last year's events. No, no and and in my heart, I know he did it. Right, I'm not siding with him. Yeah, I'm just saying look at the guy. That's a weird thing to get arrested for. His it's name very is weird. Wagman, Wagman. Peter Wagman. Peter Wagman. Uh, yeah. Yes. I have an uplifting headline this okay. week. Well, I need it after that one. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, so 633 pound divers oh. okay. set the world record um, in Florida at Deerfield Beach for cleaning up the ocean floor. Come on. That's okay. super cool. Yeah. Yeah. 633 divers um, were part of this event. Scuba divers. Okay. I, I was thinking uh, like Olympic Jump yeah. off the thing, divers. Um, yeah. Dang, they really went. The Guinness forward. World Records actually did send somebody to this event, and they counted uh, they so each person bored. that went into the water. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they cleaned up the uh, ocean floor around Deerfield Beach Fishing Pier. Okay. Um, they, I, I saw somebody was, you know, people were finding old signs that metal signs had yeah. fallen in the water. They picked up like sixteen hundred pounds and just fishing weights that what? people like when people lost their line yeah. or cut right. their line or stuff like That's that. That's really cool. I'm yeah. So they cleaned fisherman. up tons and tons of trash around this area. Good on them. And uh, at the same time, you know, they obviously cleaned up the beach, but at the same time they broke a world record. Did they even need their scuba stuff for that? I mean, they were going pretty deep or a good five feet or so. Gee, you're yeah. right. I Safety love the first rip tides. Yeah. I love, I love the good news. I love the inspiration. I love news. the good Lord. Yep. And I just wanted to say that we were going to name all 633. So, yeah, yes. I'm starting out. <laughs> Peter Wagman. Yeah. No, well, no, not that perfect. That and his girlfriend jail. covered in ketchup. I know. Uh, I love those a, headlines. Yeah. Uh, and uh, honestly, oh. uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, maybe every now and then send in some inspirational ones because uh, it's really encouraging and we like sharing them because yes. Florida's- usually it's like Florida man chops off own head and then <laughs> drives through drive through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty much. So some happy ones would be nice, yeah. but uh, I I feel hooked, but I, I want to be broken. Oh, I can break you down. Yeah, break down my my spirit and my confidence. You got it, buddy. Thank you. So uh, I got a couple letters. Okay. Today, uh, they just came in the postage. Yeah. I opened them up. I read them like I do. Y'all know yeah. my role here. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, n- it's not much, but it's really it is it's that the bare minimum <laughs> to be welcomed in the yes. room. So uh, they said, "Okay, guys, we think we know." a good amount about you. Right. But we can't tell if y'all know a good amount about each other. Really? Yeah. They, they are, I, I guess I must've joked about us being put together by Lou Pearlman, the right. guy who put together in yep. sync yep. because we sound so natural and professional mm-hmm. on these 
Sure microphones. <laughs> like a boy band. <laughs> sure, and, if uh, you would like to sponsor us, I, just yes. reach out. Just us give us some go- more mics. Yeah. So they said that we don't know each other very well. Yeah. They said, why don't you come up with questions for your co-hosts? Prove our knowledge of one another. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're asking each other questions. Yes. To see if we so know what I am tasking y'all to do, and we'll pause the podcast. Okay. And I'll give y'all a minute. Okay. Sure. Uh, come up with three questions just about yourself. All right. Something not in my visual field. Okay. And multiple choice, I'm a- assuming. And multiple choice. Perfect. Because it's like, what color shirt am I wearing? That's yeah. dumb. Okay. You're not wearing we're going to lose listeners. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. These nips need to breathe. <laughs> they do. <laughs> So we're going to pause it, and then uh, we're going to write, and then come back. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to, in the middle of the pause, we're going to put a, a really cool song. Yep. <laughs> cool. Greg, could you pause for us? And we're back. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome back, yeah. guys. Uh, we have guys, our questions. y'all took a lot longer than 10 minutes. It's been 24 hours. Wow. Yeah. It's now Saturday. Who wants to start this off? That 20, was rodeo. 2022. I think Wayne's going to start. All right. So my first question that I came up with uh, yeah. was this. Out of these three movies, <laughs> oh gosh. which one is my favorite? Oh, easy. Let's brave, do it. Brave Little Toaster. Yeah. No Country for Old Men. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. We Were Soldiers. Mm. Pulp Fiction. Well, that's good. Ooh. Okay. Tricky. I will, uh, I'll flip you a coin for it. Nope. If you get the reference. I guess you don't, so it must not be your favorite movie. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky trick. All right. Do you want to hear right. the, the choices Daddy? again? Well, the thing is, I know your favorite movie, but it's not on that list. That's why I did this. Yeah. What? Trick me out. A double trick? Yes. Yeah. Double trick. I knew that also. That's why I didn't fall for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so out of those three, No Country for Old Men, We Were Soldiers, Pulp Fiction, what's my favorite movie? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, No Country for Old no Men. No Country for Old Men. You're correct. Out of that list. Both of you. Yeah. All right. Uh, what am I more afraid of? A rattlesnake? Oh, I guess you're going. You're continuous. Keep yeah, going. Have, you said three. Knock okay. them out. Okay, I thought we'd do a rotating Randy no, here. It, no. Uh, <laughs> what, what am I more afraid of? A rattlesnake, Sasquatch, or a freaky little kid? Okay. Rattlesnake, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. I don't. I don't know kid. what Sasquatch is. Do you mean Skunk Ape? Skunk Ape. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, or Freaky Little Kid. Oh, um, that's a tough one. You're yeah. you're really scared of that hairy kid down the road. I am. Yeah, that looks like a Skunk Ape. Yeah. Noel. Yes. Yeah. Noel. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with Scary Little Kid. Scary Little Kid. For you me. guys are two for two. Yeah. Uh, nice. Last one. Who is my celebrity crush? Is it <laughs> a Jennifer Love Hewitt? Okay. Okay. B. Is that current? Uh, Celebrity crush? Current, yeah. Uh, okay. B, Naomi Watts, or C, Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> uh, and this, t- this has been approved by my wife. She's She, okay. she helped me make this list. You're really all, you love a Naomi. I do yeah. love a good Naomi. I mean, yeah. You got your yeah. Naomi Cam- Campbell right. uh, poster. Right. And then you got your Naomi right. Watts uh, t-shirt. T-shirt. Sorry. I'm going to go with uh, not where he's going. Yeah. I'm going to go with uh, old Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh. Mm. Old, old would go not to. Not old. Oh. Out of this list, it's Audrey Hepburn, actually. Audrey Hepburn. Yep. Yeah. He's lying. I actually have a picture of her hanging up in my office. So there's that. I have proof. Past wow. tense. All right. Okay. Oh, it's safe. Yeah. We should have guessed. He's married. Of course, yeah. the lady's going to be passed. Yeah. So Amelia Earhart yeah. jokes, <laughs> jokes on you guys. We don't, we don't even know where she's at. <laughs> All right, Cameron. Okay. Ooh. This is not a multiple. Well, I guess it is sort of a multiple choice. Okay. Uh, do I like crunchy <laughs> or smooth peanut butter? Oh, wow. wait a minute. That is a good. I'm going to take that one. <laughs> if you're a, a, an average human being. Okay. You probably have nice, strong teeth. Right. You probably eat crunchy. Right. But if you're smart, you like smooth. Right. Because, smart. yeah, you can mix it with stuff or add it on a sandwich and you keep the texture consistency. So I'm going smooth. I'm going to go the opposite because I, I think, uh, I, I, for myself personally, I want smooth because I'm a smart man. Yes, thank um, you. But I think 
I, I've seen the strength, the sheer strength oh, of Cameron's man. teeth. Yeah, those jaws after and jaws. years of apples. Mm-hmm. And I just know <laughs> that uh, him eating uh, through crunchy peanut butter is one of my life joys. I've heard it from a room away, so I'm going to say crunchy. Does he go spoonfuls or like sandwiches? Just huffs it. So <laughs> huffs crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's some strong nostrils. Uh, I I like the silky smooth. Oh, oh come thank on! Thank you. Bang bang nope. bang bang oh. bang. All I right. like the silky smooth. Next question before I get pissed. All right. Um, if money was not an issue. Jesus. Money's an issue for you guys? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I have a modest inheritance. I know I you do. If money was not an issue, okay. what do you think I would do with my time? Oh, be a nudist. I, Anytime no, we walk in here. If money was not an issue. I think you would like camping, kind of outdoorsy oh, stuff. Gosh. I If it wasn't. I mean, you do that anyways, but like. I think if you didn't have to work, I could see you um, just living outdoors. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If money's not an issue, this man owns an orchard up in Maine. Right. Nice. Yep. I like it. Thank you. I did. I that wasn't my answer, but now it is. Thank you. Oh, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> what was your answer? Uh, it was that. It was that yeah. all day. Uh, Actually, Wayne was in the right direction. His heart's but. desire. All right. Uh, let's see. What is my favorite? TV show. Mm. I don't know because, oh man, of all time or current? No, because he, he quotes the he quotes the Office a lot, like every twenty like year old every girl, average, but like American. Okay, I'm gonna say his favorite TV show um, is a show called Alone on <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> on uh, Annie. It's okay, called- okay. His favorite TV show, Storage Wars. Okay. <laughs> wow, you guys really went with the A and E channel. <laughs> I know. Uh, let's see. Well, Wayne was on the right track. Okay. Uh, it's The Office. Oh, okay. Alone is a great show. Uh huh. It's on the History Channel. Okay. Okay. It is great. Storage Wars is trash. Uh, <laughs> Trashtramps dot com. Don't like Trash it. Trash. All com. right, Josh, you got questions for us? I do have some questions. Let's hear it. Uh. You guys know I like comedy. I mean, you, you can love, tell. Love comedy, uh, and there are a few comedians that make me laugh. Right, yeah. Greg, mm-hmm. you two guys, yeah, thank obviously. you. And one of them that really gets my Mitch Hedberg huckle a uh, hucklin huckle chucklin. And then there are one that doesn't. Which one doesn't? Oh, you son of a <laughs> no! So, which one does? Uh, no, which one? I think Mitch Hedberg. Okay, Cameron, uh, you can go with. All right, yeah, give me some Jim choices. Jim Gaffigan. I was thinking Jim Gaffigan. Al Madrigal. I don't know who that is. Myself. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or Greg or Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mitch Hedberg. Uh, I'm going to go with Mitch Hedberg. Okay, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you know what CD's in my CD deck. Yep. I know. I know uh, what cassette's in your uh, britches. Okay. Well, my Walkman yep. keeps me walking. Okay. So, fellas... uh. I come from a broken home. You guys know that. We, I talk about we, it. A we lot. are aware of it. I mean, yeah. Don't cry. I about still it. cry about it. I mean, you've seen my Instagram. I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but heartbreaks and rings and divorces right. and stuff. Sure. Uh, but what year did it break? <laughs> <laughs> what age was I? Oh, okay. When my yeah. broken home broke. I think you were in sixth grade, so eleven. Is that how old sixth graders are these days? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'll say twelve because you're older than me. So twelve. I'll say you. Yeah, twelve. I was almost a teenager. You think? Yeah. Okay. I didn't. I don't know if I was born at this point, so I don't know. I was still alive. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let Wayne take this. You don't have to be alive for my <laughs> broken home to break. Yeah, but I didn't know. I think twelve. It, it wasn't in the news. You okay. would know it from getting to know me, your co-host. Oh, I don't want to. Your dad's. Wanna. Your whole family's famous. I was four years old. Wow, how old? Uh, four. Four. Well, yeah. I definitely wasn't born. I think you said it's not about you being born. <laughs> this guy, everything is on a rating between. It's like AC. It's like uh, before Christ and whatever the before one. Cameron yeah. after before Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so four years old. On that's sad. That's a sad one. Uh, four years hap- old. Uh, BC. Pick a happy BC. question. Oh, yeah, I got taken to uh, the the attorney's office. Oh, barf. F- to this watch him. Uh, yeah, what yeah. is this segment? Oh, yeah. oh, hello, bless him. <laughs> bless they didn't him. have daycare back then in the old black and white days. <laughs> Uh, I've got four dogs. Okay. Yeah. True or false? That's true. That's true. What are their names? I know. All right. Uh, can we tag team it? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want some Na- options? Name the, no, 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 no. Name the ones you know. Gus. 
Gus. Okay. <laughs> what? That's on my list. I also have a list of fake names that I think Cameron will guess. <laughs> no, okay. isn't that Gus? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Where did I get Gus from? Uh, I've got. That's a cat name. Okay, go ahead, Wayne. You Laser, started. Chug, Dino, Zip, Greg, and Chewy. Chewy. Those Gus. Are the, those are the fake names Cameron will guess. The real names yes. are Bravery. Uh-huh. No. Um, that doesn't sound familiar. No. Bravery. What's the okay. big one? I Walter. Thought it was Gus. Walter. That's um, it. Happy. Okay. And, um, oh, what's that fourth one's name? I don't forget her. Is that the one that we need to ha- talk about? Bravery? No, br- um, bravery is the one with the, with, yeah. the, with the thing. Well, um, one of them needs to be put Walter. <laughs> um, uh-huh. ah. she's got something growing. What, what's the fourth one? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey. Textbook dog name. Wow. I know. From the pound. My sister's going to be so upset with me for forgetting the dog Rescue name. dogs. That's You're not all the we one do. that said that one of them needs to be put down. So I know he did say that. Yeah. I think, uh, my wife even said, don't let them talk about bravery's thing on her neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I well, I feel broken uh, and hooked, and I, I hope feel you like guys... you guys knew me pretty well. Yeah, we did. I feel like the fans learned a lot about us. Yeah, and uh, I if... mean, I asked about crunchy or smooth peanut butter, and Wayne. I mean, Josh asked about <laughs> when his parents got divorced. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's you knew me. Ends of the spectrum. I thought you knew me here. I know he he's all serious all the time. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. So I prepared myself when he came in. I knew his questions were going to be deep and dark. <laughs> I really wanted a chance to open up, and I had one, and then y'all took it away. Yeah, it's not that kind of podcast, though. Yeah. Thank goodness. Uh, go to This American Life. Oh, let's go to uh, the main headline star. Thank you so much. Uh, he likes No Country for Old Men and Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Here is Wayne. <laughs> uh, Al Tamani was born February 25th, 1912. Al Tamani? Mm-hmm. Hold on, 12. 1912? 1912. 107. Yeah, right on. Mm. So uh, his first name is Al, last name okay. Tamani. Um, he was a unique kid. Like most kids, he enjoyed playing outside with his friends and riding bikes, jumping mm-hmm. rope, you know, kid stuff. Yeah, jumping rope for girls. Well, this this kid loved it. He loved it. Uh, but at the age of nine, Al's parents started to notice that he was different from the other boys. Okay. It always starts like this. What happened at nine for you? Mm. We've all been told that before, haven't we? You're, you're different from the other boys. You're special. <laughs> yeah. Get in this van. Well, uh, Al stood a foot taller than any other kid in his fourth grade class. Okay, so his parents lied to him. He mm-hmm. wasn't nine. He yeah, was like, 13. Maybe he was <laughs> held back a little bit. Uh, so you're thinking, what? Well, he's a tall kid. Uh, the issue with Al was just that he wouldn't stop growing. Okay. okay. Like Width everything? And heights? <laughs> like, yeah, but he was a, he was a, a very, very just big getting kid. getting tall? He was he... growing really quick. His hands were getting huge. Husky? Uh, no, just very, very tall, but just mm. big features. Um, by the by, the age Amen. of twelve, <laughs> yeah, by the age of twelve, he was a head taller than his father, who was six foot three. Oof! And he was, was a head taller. Uh huh. And that wow. was a twelve. Okay. Wow, that family. Right. So um, his parents took him to see a doctor. A little late. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, that's that's the thing. Is you What's would a think, doctor gonna do? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I would do the, Forrest Gump. I think I would do the same thing they if my kids wouldn't stop growing. <laughs> like just take him to the doctor. And, uh, they found out that Al had an enlarged and overactive pituitary gland, uh, oh, which man. caused his body to misinterpret um, normal growth signals. And yeah. so he basically, they were like, well, what can we expect? Like, when's he going to stop? And the doctor uh, said, we just have to wait and see. Well, by the age of 16, um, Al oh, Tamani no. was seven feet, four inches tall. You shouldn't get, let us seven? guess. No, as seven horrible as you guys how, were at the quizzes. How many inches? Uh, seven feet, four inches tall. Wow. By the age of 16. Um, some estimates said he was close to eight feet tall, but we only have one written record from a doctor saying seven feet, four inches. Okay. So it's what possible he got bigger feet tall afterwards. so I can visualize it. Uh, seven feet, four. That would be uh, this roof. He has a very short ceilings. So. Oh, this is like a six foot roof. The shack. <laughs> I could touch it with my palm. So it was around this time um, that Al and his family decided um, to just finally embrace his height instead of trying to hide it, <laughs> which I think is hilarious because yeah. that's not something you hide very well. I mean... You're you got a giant kid. Basketball. Yeah, family right. uh, family photos. He had to get on his knees and yeah. put yeah, shoes, exactly. shoes on his knees. Uh, so it, it's no one really ever said this, um, but it's kind of uh, hinted that his family um, are, are the reason why like he uh, pursued his career um, in the circus. Okay. So uh, it, it kind of says that he kind of decided, hey, I'm going to go join the circus because no one's ever going to accept me as a normal person mm-hmm. because I'm so freaking huge. Um, yeah. But most of the uh, stories uh, 
kind of trend towards his parents being the ones saying, ah, you need to join the circus, which is really hurtful, actually. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't afford goodness. to feed him. Nah, that's probably it. Yeah. Gotta he kept, grow. He kept busting through the ceiling. <laughs> that uh, head. Harry but, and the Hendersons. <laughs> The thing is, is when he left town and started um, traveling with the circus, he was just a huge hit. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Just because he's tall? Hit. Just because he was tall. <laughs> uh, he was billed as the giant under the big top. I mean, listen, back then, what are you looking at that's interesting? Th- that's why the circus was so popular, I think, because I mean, you had radio. Mm-hmm. But as far as visual entertainment, I mean, the circus would travel for a reason. People wanted to come out just and think see. that family got to look at that monster for free. I know. <laughs> uh, so he was selling out circus shows from California <laughs> to New York, all because he was gigantic. How did they keep him hidden? <laughs> <laughs> Behind a tree. Because I'm not paying if I can see the guy. With yeah. His head sticking over a crowd <laughs> from thirty feet I'm away. Like, I can see him. <laughs> I don't need a ticket. In 1943, Al was working at a circus in Cleveland, Ohio, uh-huh. when he met a young lady by the name of Jeannie, and it was love at first sight. Okay, yeah. Ooh. these two hit it off right Let away. Let me guess. I can tell you how they met. Hey, can you hand me that? <laughs> yep. Exactly. He goes, huh? <laughs> uh, just, what? So, Top shelf, so, dummy. <laughs> So Jeannie uh, was also a circus performer, um, oh, gosh. but for the exact opposite reason as Al. Gross. Oh, no. Because Jeannie was only two feet tall. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. how old was she? Uh, with the, of age. Uh, she, oh, okay. She, okay. Yeah, she was traveling. In that the, meant something in, different in, back we didn't, then. We in, weren't in alluding the, to anything. No. We weren't saying she's a second grader. Well, uh, the two got married that same year, and they spent oh, the next five gosh. years Traveling the country, billed as the world's strangest couple. Oh wow! Yeah, do you think they did it just for? The I think money. they did it. They're married. That's where the money's at. Yeah. Well, I I think uh, to be honest, I think there's a stigma uh, towards anything slightly odd, especially back in the day. Yeah. And so for them, the haven, the safe haven, was the circus. Um, so if it's believed that uh-huh. Al's parents kind of forced him to do it. Probably the same for Jeannie's parents. It was just like, yeah. hey, you're never going to have a normal life in their eyes, so they sent him off to the circus. You yeah. think uh, she could do the sit and reach and get pretty good score? Probably. Yeah, pro- the presidential one? The, yeah, yeah, fitness test. <laughs> in 1949, um, Al was having to perform less and less because uh, all the traveling, it was causing a lot of pain like in his joints and his lower mm-hmm. back. Um, and so he basically told his wife, Jeannie, like, all I want to do is settle down. I don't want to I don't want to tour anymore. Nice. I just want to be done with this. And she agreed, but she said that she wanted to settle as far away from the circus circuit um, as yeah. they could. Yeah, because yeah, she yeah. felt like, I mean, I know it sounds kind of funny, but she felt like if, if people see us back in work, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, they're, they're just going to they walk up and me hand back. money. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So they go as far south as they can afford to. Oh, goodness. And they end up in a very, very small town called Gibsonton, Florida. Okay. Oh, we're in Florida now. About we're in time. Florida. Yeah. So uh, the issue was that the circus life was basically all that either either of them ever knew. Yeah, it's a hard life. Well, and so to to basically Freight trains and- to settle into like normal community would be difficult. Mm-hmm. Um, so they picked this uh, like really small town, um, but all their friends were from the circus. All their connections were oh, circus no. related, um, and so starting over in Florida proved to be difficult. Um, so in, in fact, the reason why they ran away to begin with was because they believed the lies that they were told growing up, which uh-huh. regular society was just, they're just going to see you as freaks. Uh, they're never okay. going to accept you. Okay. Probably. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> but, but you need to just run away. So that's what they, yeah. they've done that again as adults. But one night nice. after dinner, um, Al and Jeannie were discussing how they missed their old friends. Like they don't miss the circus, but they miss their friends. Yeah. And Naturally. What, the what 700 they, pound man. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right. And the, the hairy boy. The hairy man. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So they get the idea, um, since Gibsonton is such a small community, very few people are there, but the ones they had met had <laughs> been really, really nice to them. Like okay. extremely nice to them. Uh-huh. Um, but there's like no police station. There's no postal service. It's a very Can you imagine not community. trying to acknowledge someone's height either at <laughs> two feet or seven and a half feet? Right. Totally I mean, normal. How do you? Nothing to see here. Because you know he knows. Like he's like, yeah. you haven't acknowledged my height yet. Yeah. <laughs> We're both waiting on it. Exactly. <laughs> You're looking up and squinting well, i know you know i'm tall they probably don't even notice her well not at all <laughs> they're, just, no. they're well, looking ex- up especially next to him yeah. yeah so they they feel like since the community down there has been so welcoming in okay. gibsonton um that they want to use their life savings to open up a trailer park okay and their dream was to provide a haven for people who were retiring or just wanted to leave the circus uh-huh. and to yeah, come yeah, down yeah. to gibsonton and a trailer park's not the trailer park <laughs> 
we imagine today. Sure. You probably and, had and, really cool and, and, like, and nine, travel trailers. In 1950 is what all they could really afford is what they wanted to do. Yeah, aluminum. You know? Right. <laughs> yeah. And so that's exactly what they did. Um, they began sending out invitations, and before long, a lot of people were showing up. Okay. Now this this uh, <laughs> this dream. Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes sense now that I'm thinking about. I mean, if your whole life you're told you're a piece of crap, sure, yeah, the world's going to be rough on you. Don't have dreams because you're not going to achieve them. Sure. So they just make these tiny dreams, like. One day I want to own a trailer. Well, and, I think I th- my I, own trailer. I think it's all he could afford. But the thing about it is, is like his he whole a whole park. His right? actual dream, right, was to have his friends come live with him. Yeah, yeah because they're all in the same situation. They're all in the same situation. Yeah. So he's yeah. creating a haven for these folks. Um, so the first person to accept the invitation and arrive at Gibsonton, Florida, Uh-oh. was Priscilla the Monkey Girl. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 I've seen National her on park. Instagram. Yeah. Co- she's covered in hair from head to toe, Oof, and she specializes in acrobatics. But glutes, though. The glutes on her? <laughs> right. We've all dated girls like that. Um, <laughs> so following Priscilla um, was the alligator man, Ew. the lobster family. Okay. And, oh, can you explain? <laughs> yeah. yeah I got, you can't I, just put an alligator uh, man. I've got a visual, but lobster family? I've got a few more commas. I think okay. it's the... Uh, so, he's going to get through them first. It's the alligator man, the lobster family, and Dottie the fat lady. Hmm. Yeah. So, Dottie the fat lady. Just to clarify, so like, these were their um, performing names. Like we didn't give these names to these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's um, nice. This is know. what they were billed as. Yeah. Uh, either they chose the name or their manager did. Dottie uh, was at Shoney's with me the other day. <laughs> right. So the alligator man, <laughs> okay. um, he had like a skin condition, and so they called him the alligator man. The lobster family, they had deformities that it was a genetic deformity that was passed down yeah. um, through their lineage. Give them the clamps. Where their hands clamp, were. Clamp. Yeah, they were claws. They clamps. Man, I, I feel a, bad. I mean, a clamp these sound people effect. are like. Yeah. They have diseases or deformities that. What do you think, tall guy had? Well, that was the circus. Yeah, He's just tall. That was the circus where they just basically had acrobats. Know, they have diseases where they want to be. They, they want to spin all. They the want to bounce mm-hmm. around. So before long, the retired circus performers from all over the country were settling down in Gibsonton, Florida. Uh-huh. So many performers showed up and lived there that the people surrounding um, the town started calling it Gibsonton, the home of the freaks. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not hurtful. Yeah. Yeah, it's not nice at all. Especially when they paint it on the sign. Welcome but to Gibson, home of the freaks. Could you imagine just driving through this town at a you late, know, late night? You're, yeah. you're trying to stay awake. Sure. <laughs> you pull over for gas. <laughs> and then you and hear Claw Family. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. <laughs> Let me hand you your change. Here's your one. <laughs> Trust me. I'm with you on this. It, it doesn't it doesn't sound fun. Uh but Al Can Tamani, I pump you gas, sir. <laughs> yeah. And this alligator guy? And he's cut the hose by accident. <laughs> but Al Tamani knew uh, that, that with people showing up and actually living there, like tons of folks were coming. And at, at this point, by the way, it, it, it went beyond people who were like postcard invited. Okay. People were hearing about it and just okay. coming to live there. Um, and so basically they realized the town needed like circus normal, groupies. N- yeah. Well, they needed normal services because they had nothing, uh-huh. it, which is right now it's, you know, just a little tiny little market. So Al himself volunteered as the police chief and the fire chief. Um, and the people worked okay. together to turn an uninhabited home into the police and fire station. Wow. Okay. Mm. So if you break in, you know, you break in <sighs> uh-huh. or you're Jesus, speeding, bro. Al just yeah. hey, come back here. Well, he, he doesn't even have to run up the stairs. He's got the second story. He covered. just, he just reaches just, up and takes you. He's yeah. smacking his head the whole way, though. Uh, shortly after, uh, the citizens founded the Gibsonton Post Office, which became famous because it was the only post office in the world that, ha- that had a special lower countertop for dwarfs. Okay. Cool, yep. cool, cool. Yeah. ADA, I get it. Right. Yeah. Only one in the world. Uh, then there was a marketplace that sold fresh fruits and vegetables from all over the world. Also at dwarf size? No. Uh, well, probably, but uh, the marketplace was ran by the world famous Hilton Siamese Twins. Attached? So, yes, they were. And so, basically, nice. like, all of these people at the time, um, because, again, the circus was a huge deal back then. Yep. So, these people were traveling, making a ton of money, and as they're retiring here, now they're setting up mom and pop shops in this little bitty circus like town. Yeah. yeah. American dream. So, people are coming by, I think, partly to kind of see, you know, the oddity uh, yeah. of the situation, right? But also, too, like, people who were fans of the circus were coming by to see the acts they loved. And they only sold their fruits and veggies in pairs. That's why you're... They did. Besides... <laughs> Everything was buy one, get one. <laughs> they did. Uh, so Gibsonton, Florida was growing so fast uh-huh. that it gained the attention of the governor in Tallahassee who agreed to alter the community's zoning laws to make it more friendly and favorable for them. 
How so? Uh, he actually allowed them. No they loitering. Were, that's what we would need. Well, yeah. they were the only. They became the only city in the United States um, to have a license to, uh, that allowed them to maintain elephants, monkeys, or Ferris wheels on wow. the residential Jeez. property. Okay. And so the governor basically they reached out to the governor yep. for basically like kind of to become a township. Uh-huh. Um and he was like I'll do you one better. Like I want I want you to be comfortable. And he felt bad for him and he nice. got like, kind of like, you know. Mm, good guy. Mm-hmm. Gibsonton um within 30 years uh, had 8,700 residents. Oh, bless you Gibsonton. And so uh Altamania's little town um basically became this, you know, flourishing uh, neighborhood community and but the bulk of the citizens all came from the circus. Wow. And so this day, uh Gibsonton is still around. It's still an active to town. Know. If you're just kind of driving through, um it looks like any other city. Yeah, look out your window, look close. But if you were to drive by today, you would still see uh the dismantled kind of carnival rides, um the occasional exotic oh, animal because okay. the licenses wow. still apply there. They can nice, still have exotic nice. animals. Um, descendants of Priscilla the Monkey Uh-oh. Girl, the Lobster Family, mm. and the Alligator Man still live there in and Gibson, Florida. are afflicted or? They still are. They're mm. still afflicted. Genetically. Wow. Uh, Al Tamani passed away in 1962, uh, Jeannie in 1990, and Al's life goal, he wanted to become the world's tallest man. Um, but he never. I thought he was. No, well, okay, actually, he, at the time was he official. wasn't. Yeah, never official. I but he did guess. obtain two world records. Uh, one for being the tallest policeman and one for being the tallest fireman. <laughs> oh, nice. my gosh. Yeah. I guess if you got to have another. Uh, yeah. And award. so those were the uh, two uh, awards that were given to him. He but started picking up occupations so he could get more awards. Tallest awards, postman. Tallest guitar Tallest player. fruit stand. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the story of Al Tamini in Gibsonton, Florida. Oh. And uh, I just wanted to say that was sent in by somebody. No. Yeah. It's amazing that, like, you know, we never really know about entire cities in our state, which is, yeah. there's a circus town. 99% of them. We've right. That's, of. that's you know, three hours away. Um, but that was sent in by Sabrina from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She knew about this town and we didn't know about this town? Well, it's been a good week. Uh, a great week. I wasn't expecting that Slender no, Man to show up. Not at up. all. No. We're excited to show up and take a tour of Gibsonton. Definitely. Yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, but if you want to uh, visit us online, it's fmofm.com. Trashtramps.com. Mm-hmm. If we go, we got to do the three men in a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> and then say we're descendants of Al. <laughs> like little rascals. Yeah, we're there to see our cousin. That's what we do. We'll see you guys next week. Good seeing you. <laughs>